G'day mates. I glued my fingers together today. It took at least an hour to get them apart, but that inspired me. It gave me a vision. It gave me an idea. For we all know that the French do nothing but retreat. But what if instead, they did nothing at all? What if they were the best builders you'd ever seen? What if they built the Megano line? Thank God the AI doesn't know how to use paratroopers. But before I put my beret on, I must thank my sponsor for this video, Swagbucks. Swagbucks is a website where you can make some extra cash or gift cards through a variety of methods like surveys, watching videos, shopping, or even playing games. Sort of a Revlo Salt-esque. As always, I've checked out the website myself and think you lot will get a kick out of it thanks to the rewards you get from testing or playing games. Click the link in the description so you'll stop poking me on Discord and asking for a pirated link to Hearts of Iron. Go make some cash and buy it instead. Onwards with the shit show, then? I was going to make a joke about this being the only time democracy was the optimal ideology, but it seems the French are one of the few people who don't tie the military skills and capabilities to their government type. So uh, I'm just, I'm just going to roll a, roll a dice one moment. Whew. I found it, my metal D10. So let's say one to two we radicalize the front, three to four we support Blum, Mr. Poor Old Glum. Uh, five to six, say support Dad Dadler. Child Dadler. Perfect. And uh, seven to eight, we support the far right leagues. Uh, nine to ten, I fillet a squirrel. Huh. All of that baguette related fun will have to happen later. For now, we need to get our army into order. I guess we'll let the subs do whatever the hell they want. We can form up a navy. Oh god, they're all split up. Don't they know that Death Fleet is the best option always? Always Death Fleet. Well, it doesn't really matter, for we won't be sailing anywhere. We'll actually be accepting naval invasions. We'll want them, for our coast shall be covered in coastal forts. Let's get started. We've already got, obviously, the Megano line here. It's beautiful, it's glorious, but we need a second layer. And more than anything, we need some layers along here, but I think we'll start with some civilian factories. Some in Paris, some in, uh, Pas de Calais. Still no clue how to say that, and I know, someone will complain. Uh, where else is 80? No, nowhere else is as developed as Paris. Well, isn't that fucking surprising? Cool. Hit a few of those on, and then we'll get started on the border wall. Belgium, of course. Oh, lifelong enemy of France. If you've ever seen that documentary I once posted, uh, something about uh, Belgium, you know, he invades France at some point. You can clearly see there, old enemies. So, the whole point of this, after all, is to bleed them all dry. We're gonna make sure that no one has any manpower left. Well, that was the plan. Then Poland outclassed me and Germany decided that death was preferable to democracy. Oh God, just enjoy. And then we'll march in. I don't even want to like take land. Like even if we take land, like if we, if we bleed Germany dry and we take it, I want to then march back to my border and guard that and wait for the enemies to come to me. Well, mon ami, the plan is to bleed the world dry. If you recall correctly from my Super Divisions video, we managed to kill quite a few Chinese people before they managed to damage even one of ours. But I think I can do better. I think I can kill the entire world with just what France has. I think with, you know, harvesting my colonies for manpower, because you fucking bet you I put the Coring States mod on. We might just be able to kill everyone. We're going to have to wait for the Soviet Union to reach our borders, of course, because, yeah, I, I mean... Good luck. If you leave the Soviet Union for too long, they just end up collapsing. In this one, they become democratic. If you let Trotsky take over, they become fascist. The Soviet Union's a very strange thing. Yeah, we have mods on. So, I think we should get started on uh, building up our little empire, shall we? And, uh, by the way, we're going to declare war on everyone. Just, just everyone. Once we've got a few political power invested, all of it will be going to warfare. France will be conscripting all the printers of its citizens just to print enough war declarations to send them to every last country. Even the ones people aren't entirely sure if they exist or not. You sweet, precious thing. Also, all of these are a mod. Right, let's get to work. Oh, oh my sweet summer child. No, 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 no. I like how until now I just naturally left the border with the Swiss unguarded. It's almost as I knew. I trusted them. And I know they will betray that trust. Now by fillet a squirrel, I actually meant restore the monarchy. D about the same effect. Perfect. Let's become Bourbon France, because my god I could use one right now. Really? Really? Is that how World War II is getting started? You declare war on Yugoslavia, who 
Czechoslovakia for some reason joins the Allies, Zala, Yugoslavia joins the Allies, and Britain's Red New- Oh, and Northern Lights, of course, they've been formed, but really, I- I wanted to start it. I guess I'll just go kick Belgium in the face. The monarchy is restored! Today, Pope Pius te 11 I can count, has enthroned Henry- Oh, for fuck's sake, 7 as King of France Kingdom. The France Kingdom. The new leader announces that he will guide the country in these uncertain times. Vive le Roy. Roy Henry the Seventh. National U plus ten. Oh, we're actually called the Kingdom. Oh my God. Why do I feel like he's going to assassinate me for talking, for being Jimmy the Snitch? Oh, this is not okay. Oh, why is he in control and not me? Oh, Jesus. Get him out of here. He's a scary Frenchman. I've never thought I'd see that. Oh, he's back again! And he's bigger! Ah, yes. Poland is at war with Lithuania. And no, I still haven't installed that mod yet. Go fuck yourselves. Because, of course, they rejected joining the Metamorzy. And Poland decided, you know what? Lithuania doesn't want to play ball with me. I think I should force them to play ball with me. And, uh, well, let's see how that war will go. Do me proud, Lithuania. Do me proud. Yep. Right. Back to punching my other favorite country. You know this war is going about as well as one could expect. Yugoslavia slowly falling back, Czechoslovakia peeking out from Sudetenland. And of course, the United Kingdom bravely taken Ostprussen. Just. There goes my hero. I just realized my music's been bugged out this whole time because I turned off my Waltzing Matilda mod because I felt it was a bit inappropriate for a cowardly French playthrough. But apparently, despite the fact that- Okay, for fuck's sake, I get I'm playing Road to 56, but can you calm down? Despite not having the mod on, Waltzing Matilda still is here. I don't think I can play it. No, I can't. Well, this is a little German. What the fuck? Boonaroo's here too! <laughs> I think I fucked with my music. I might need to go fix that. You know Luxembourg, you're brave, but... I just want to see how far bravery gets you. Well, I think that was at least six hours. Good job. I... I refuse to believe that that was your great target. Seriously, Germany? You wasted political power on, on Albi. I mean, they have 14 slots. That's impressive. Jeez, just, just, that's the key. You can't even take them? What is happening? Are they even in the Allies? What is... No. The Republic of Albania is democratic, at war with Germany, and not in the Allies. Wait a second. Hold on a fucking moment. <laughs> it wasn't... There's a reason they may not have joined the Allies. It's because Italy and the entirety of the Pact of Rome is at war with Germany because Albania was guaranteed by Italy. This is like, uh, so... You know what? If not even remotely by my own hand, the German Reich is gone by 19... The end of 1939, I won't be surprised. This is like, I don't think they'll survive this. Yep, no, this is them gone. Jesus. Are you fucking kidding me? I- th th You didn't even have a war goal, you bastard! I just abandoned the Megano line! No, not the Megano. Get back to it, quick! Well, thank god I actually- Okay, we need to recapture our territory, but- Oh god, this is like almost not retreating! What is this shit? They're forcing me to be so completely- Uncouth. <sighs> okay, we've almost pushed them out. Come on, just a little further. Come on now, France. Come on, you can do it. Go on. Look, it's a baby boy. Alternatively known as the Megano line. This child is going to have a fucked up childhood. So you know how the plan was I was going to declare war on everyone and, you know, like, get surrounded and taken on and have to face off against probably Germany for- Well, yeah, Germany's doing that for me. They've just declared war on Switzerland as well. I have no idea why they're doing this, or what's prompt them to go so fucking mental, but apparently the entire world should be at war with them. I haven't even got the, the uh, Ragnarok mod on, but they're still doing it. Perfect. 
I like how we've re-established the borders just in time for Switzerland to become and uh, and be my new neighbor. I told you, they're planning something up there in those high mountains. With all that Nazi gold they've got stashed away. Oh, they're planning something. Germany, for fuck's sake, you would, yeah. I thought they fixed the AI so it wouldn't declare war when it's losing, but you know what? This is just, let's watch Germany kill itself by no- Holy fuck. Yeah, no, end of 1939, I think, I think my guess was right. What do you say the Czechoslovaks take Berlin? It'll be, and you've just declared war on the Netherlands. What the fuck are you playing at? Oh, what's the bet that this is the one time that Denmark won't declare war on the German Reich? I'm thinking, Italy takes Frankfurt and surrounding territories. Czechoslovakia takes Berlin, and the UK does a shitty little invasion on one of the coastal towns at some point. Uh, also, Belgium's obviously already claimed Bitburg. Uh, and Luxembourg as well. My god. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god, I can't believe it. I called it, but I didn't call it. That is just fucking Denmark. Why? Did you even have, like, a reason? Hi, d d d d d I, what the fuck? Hang on. Swig still in Holst. They don't even have their friggin. They don't have the focus. They didn't do it. They've still got. Like they actually justified a war goal against Germany for some unknown fucking reason. Everyone's getting a pizza. The pizza pie. This is the one time they've been successful. I mean, I guess this makes my job easy for me, because it just means all I have to do is declare war on the Allies when I finally want to, uh, test my fortifications. Which are going well. It seems my guesstimation was wrong on another half. Denmark racing for Berlin as well, but it seems that Italy will take it. I swear to God, if Denmark takes- if Denmark- come on, come on Denmark. No, there we go. Berlin falls. Perhaps the final nail was struck into the coffin of the Reich today, when Italian troops, weary from a day of fighting yet determined to see it through, finally managed to reach the roof of the Reichstag. The Italian tricolour was raised shortly thereafter, and Italian troops have now begun the work of clearing the last boroughs of the city from German resistance. Indeed. The German Reich has capitulated. Oh, this is gonna be a fun thing to see. Are you fucking kidding me? Italy took six states, and Zentrum was put in power in Germany. You know, that means, that means if I declared war on Germany, why, they might join the Allies. We'll have to see. For starters, France, you're looking too happy. I want, no, who wants Flanders? I want, no, who, I want Lawone. There we go. But actually, I can't want Flanders. No. Lawone. Ah. Ah. Oh god, oh just where'd my dice go? Yeah. Those numbers Wow, that's spinning. It's it, oh my god, it's still Holy shit, this dice is amazing! <laughs> it got a five. God damn it, Germany! Can you stop? Just stop! They've just declared war on Luxembourg, and they're gonna fall to the Allies, again! Germany, you just got back- How many divisions do you have? How many divisions, Germany? Zero! You have zero divisions! And you're about to fall, again! Jesus Christ, Germany, why? Why do you do this to yourself? You fucking idiot! I swear to fucking God, is the seat of the German leadership just laced with uranium that causes them to go fucking mental? Once again, you've demanded that Poland hands over Danzig, whilst Berlin is literally under siege. And when that didn't work, you declared war on them, because you know, you're a threat. How many, how many divisions have you put together? Five to nine in this whole invasion. Oh, is Berlin gonna fall? I think it will. There's a storm in Berlin because the Czechoslovak Storm Division is here. And the uh, Czechoslovak, okay, dude, Berlin is right there. There cannot be, <laughs> nine divisions cannot stop you. You're not gonna let Poland beat you to Berlin, are you? This is, by the way, now just the watch. What the fuck happened here? This is fucking hideous. Anyway. 
is just watch Germany sort of fuck up for a bit. I still haven't been able to declare war. I want to, but, you know, it's, it's taken a bit of time. Oh! What perfect timing. Ah, the fall of Berlin. And with that, I figure we should do this. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Okay. Declare war on the Belgians. Now, if we have a look at the Allies, that means that all of the north of the country is at war with me. I am still guarding the south, just in case, but for now I trust Spain. Spain, please don't fuck me over. And the Coast Guard have started to fill the coasts and hold them off against naval invasion. We need a few more men, however. We'll get to work on that in a moment. And lastly, we have our forts on treads, our mega divisions. We're still working on them, of course, but they're mostly made up of heavy tanks, heavy self-propelled artillery, and heavy tank destroyers. So, let the battles begin. Wait, it's Finland with our enemy. Romania demands guarantee. I mean, yes, sure, I guess. Why would I even do that? Finland, are you in the Allies? Why the fuck are you in the Allies? Why is the North? Why is Sweden always left crying because the Northern Lights? Look at how sad Gustav is. Look at him. You've disappointed Gustav. How dare you? How dare you? I need to never look at my ruler again. Excellent. The Soviet Union sending 16 divisions. Well, it's okay. They can hide out here when your own nation inevitably starts to collapse. Oh, oh, here we go. The Deutschland. They're trying to ask for. <laughs> this is. You know, they want a pact of non aggression. You know what? I'll take it. And they want to move through my territory. I'll take that too. Because I'm surprised they haven't fallen yet. Oh god, here we go. Extension of the Maginot Line. The Belgians have- <laughs> the Belgians? The Belgians have lodged an official protest. We're at war. How official can your protest be? <laughs> Eat shit, Belgium. Spain, I knew you'd come through. Good boy, Spain. Good boy. I like how this game is just never, ever learning the mistakes of the past. What's the bet? All right, the Bunsrecht Republic, once again, it's the same guy, I presume. They're actually in the Allies this time, however. That means that when they declare war on some random fucking target, that uh, the whole of the Allies will be at war with that target. Oh shit, the United States is in the Allies, okay. I'd like to point out so far, I was expecting them to at least try to attack, but... Uh, oh, the Philippines, yep, okay, okay. There have been zero losses on either side. And it's been like a little while since I declared war. I mean, I'm impressed. Clever lads. How have there not been any deaths? Oh, oh, here we go. The first of our losses. 13 from the Netherlands. Ah, yes, they begin to... Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's because it's because the Soviet troops didn't really get the memo and they're actually attacking out thinking they'll win. They're like, yes, with our French... But what? <laughs> Why is the Soviet troops somewhat French? Yes, with our French brothers who speak somewhat similarly to us. We shall charge forwards over the river. And why are we now British? This accent has gone all over the fucking map. Jesus Christ. Ah yes, Corsica. It shall host my pirate radio station. We'll play illegal rock and roll to those Italians. And eventually they'll come to our side. And then we'll reject them because we need no man. Oh my, my first conflict. Look. The British are invading me. Oh, it, oh, it's just lovely. Oh, my papa's always told me this would happen. Oh, shit, they've actually landed. Thankfully enough, I didn't build land forts here. I actually built coastal forts because I'm not a complete idiot. We'll have to surround the British. Yes, yes, the first of the combats begins. I am sad to say that this combat has made us lose our uh, lovely zero life, uh, sorry, zero lives lost, rather, counter. It shall be forever remembered. Unlike all those navy and sea and airmen and all that sort of stuff, because apparently losing a ship doesn't increase the loss counter. I lost 15. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Well, wasn't even Germany this time. Looks like the Pact of Rome are at war with the Allies. And you know what? That sounds like a fun idea. Hey, Pact of Rome, you ever want to be at war with me? I have. <laughs> Been at war with myself. Goddamn communists. Yep, you know what? That makes sense. Yep, just... Japan, are you literally engaged with any of the allies? Are any of them threatening you? I mean, the Raj, maybe at some point. America's in the allies, but they're not threatening you. No, nope, but you should definitely join the Pact of Rome and contribute to an alliance that is about to be defeated. Oh, you really know how to pick them, Japan. 
Hey, okay, some people are starting to attack. Look at this. This is only a lightly fortified area, however, but that's good, that's good. The Swiss can be the first to fall into my death trap. Oh, oh, here we go, up north. Okay, they're attacking. Beautiful. Wait, this is also the Swiss. Why is it only Switzerland that seems to have it out for me? I told you they were planning something. Look at this. No, what are you, what are you doing, Switzerland? <laughs> I think they'll be the first I drain of manpower. Mm, yes. Yes, your life force feeds me. What if I just baited them into attacking me? Like I put all my guys in training. No? No, even my guys in training, you're just like, you know what? I know they're all doing push-ups right now and just weightlifting outside of their bunkers, you know? Ooh, look at them. They've got some well-defined muscles. They look so casual right now, but no, but no, let's just not attack them. I feel like this is the Swiss is doing somehow. Well, the British grabbed my breast and they grabbed it well. I feel like my coast patrol should have actually been, well, patrolling the coast instead of just working out. But then again, what the fuck else do coast patrol do? Slowly but surely, we are driving the British back from their chokehold on the breast. But thankfully enough, it sort of works as another defensive line. I've just been building lines of forts as we go. Probably should get rid of those uh, ones now that we've actually captured them. But uh, it just means that they're wasting more manpower. I did lose some men too. It was a little sad. But those Frenchmen will be remembered. Unless they were in a plane. In which case, fuck them. Oh hey, China's gone. Wait, wait, hang on a second. Wait, what? The Chinese United Front, which China was in, was at war with Japan, but there appears to just be a civil war about the the Hui Republic or Hui Republic? Hang on. I need to find out what the hell is happening here. Republic of Peru, Peru. Uh, we need Zibi San Ma. Okay. These guys apparently had a civil war between the Hu Hai uh, Hoi. The Hoi Republic, of course and the Zibi San Ma, and that's just... So they're at war with the Allies, but they're not at war with the Pact of Rome, who China just fell to? What the fuck was happening in this faction? What? Okay, sure, that's fine. I guess they just didn't really want to help China. Well, then we press our advantage on the breast, and that is that. The British invasion falls. I don't think they snuck in anymore. No, no, we're good. The Italians have managed to maintain a border with us, despite losing most of the north of their country. I'm in quite impressed. And uh, the Allies have lost a few more men against the various parts of my Megano line. I still want to do the, the deeper layers, of course. Oh, yes, yes, it's going to be good. We're going to have everything fortified. But let's have a quick peek at the death statistics. Hungry demands the Virginia. Perfect. We lost 150,000 in that war. That's not good. That was quite a bloody one. They actually pushed us back for a while, but they've lost 1.55 million. And I aim to make that number much higher. I like how even the mere reputation of the pirate radio station has kept these Italians back. There's literally nothing stopping them from just marching across and taking it and shutting it down, but no. They enjoy it. They're filling the airways with rock and roll, and oh my god, Switzerland, what are you doing? Something about the boat that rocked Switzerland, what the fuck? Oh my god, if the Swiss end up with the entirety of Italy, I'm just gonna be impressed. Oh, also, yeah, there's been a war. Like, Poland and Romania and Latvia and Estonia against the Soviet Union. That's been going on for a while. How's that been going? Oh my god, the Soviets have lost 3.3 million people. How the fuck has Poland, Romania and Latvia done this more efficiently than I have? What the fuck, game? Well, at least I got better tanks than you. Ah, what? Attempt to force France to cede Indochina. Due to being fascist, the chances are slim, and it might even backfire. France.33.d You know, I feel like whoever coded the Siamese Empire mod had no fucking clue what they were doing. Yeah. But guess what that means? Wait, I'm already at war with you, aren't I? I think I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm at war with you. Well... Wait, how the fuck do I still own Indochina? Why did you demand it? You can just take it! There's no troops there! There's, there's literally no one! 
Well, what the fuck? Okay, good job, Thailand. You keep being you. I've decided to capture a small corner of Belgium just to see if anyone would complain, right? Yeah, no, mine now? No, anyone problems with this? Nope. Okay. They've actually just decided that this is in fact the new border. I'm not even manning it. You could you could take that back at any point. Could I... Could I snipe Belgium's entire country just slowly doing this? You fucking bet I'm gonna try. Well, there's a capital. Um... This just, uh, you know, no one gonna... Nope. You know, AI, sometimes I try to vouch for you. Sometimes I say you provide a good challenge. Other times, I walk into Brussels. Why is... Oh my god, no, don't tell me. Brussels has ten forts. Say it ain't so, I thought I was the only one who could ever do that. It was my own trick. He's using my own trick against me. That's just, that's just uncouth. <laughs> Bernie is mine. Well, let's just leave now. I'm done. Hang on. Wait wait for them. Let them let them waste themselves in their own forts. Good. And then we leave. Well, that was good fun. Is the... You gonna, uh... Gonna attack me anytime soon, Swiss? I... I desecrated your homeland. I pissed in your chair, Mr. Prime Minister. It stinks now. Wait. Mr. Prime Ministers? Wow, I must have drunk a lot to piss in all of those chairs. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, we need to act quickly. 34 lads should do it. At least for now. Everyone get along the fallback line. Quickly now, lads, quickly. Run. We're going to have an issue in a moment. It's it's going to be a very big problem. If you could, let's just... Let's just... Calm down and sort my factories. Yes, yes, it's... It's a very normal thing to do, very calming activity. Oh, look, some resources. We Holy fuck, we need resources for everyone. Give me some of this. Soviet Union, you're useless. Oh, God, we... Oh, we'll have to close our borders. Oh, no. Oh, that's just... That's just not nice. Oh, boy. Please, please, just just hold for a moment. The fall of Gibraltar. Okay, excellent. And we good? I think we're good. Okay, right, my boys did get on the border in time. There we go. We can relax, we can take it easy. And we can get frustrated because once again they're not attacking us. Spain, I loved you. I loved you like a brother. And you betrayed me. It's been like a month and they still haven't retaken their capital. I assume they think it's just bombed to hell or something or I've really, really coated the seats in piss and they've just given it up for good, but nope, nope, no, I'm just back at my border waiting. Are you guys gonna... You've, you've got the troops. I mean, you're almost into Rome. What the? These guys are terrified of- Oh, oh, hang on. What is this? Oh, right, I- I thought the ghosts of Pirate Radio Island were fighting these troopers, and then I realized, no, they were just facing the wrong way, fighting the Italians. No fucking wonder they haven't won the war yet. The Persian Empire is pressuring us to sign a treaty with them that would give us- uh, give them our Middle Eastern territories. This is nothing but a thinly veiled attempt to annex our country. Hmm. Either we let them become controllers of these... Hang on. Of the Aleppo, Damascus... This is Iran, right? Why is... Why is Iran trying to take... Here, there's a bit of an Iraq in the way, but okay. We let them take it. Or we say they'll have to take a Lambo Force. I'm going to say let them take it because... Hold on. <laughs> now it is not in the... Oh! Wait, are you at war with the British? Oh my god, that was a 4D chess move and I didn't even realize it. They're at war with the British. I just gave the British's territory to them. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Holy shit. An update on the Soviet-Latvian war. 7.5 million to 1.2 million. In Poland's favor. My god, and they still haven't even captured Latvia. Latvia still holds alone. My god. Of course, oh sorry, Estonia's in the war with them too. Meanwhile, Poland and Romania, more than happy. Still fighting, still resisting, still slaughtering millions of Soviets, just as I needed.
just like to point out it's now been half a year, maybe more, I've lost track of time. I'm still completely in control of Switzerland. At least, the part of Switzerland called Switzerland. Including their 15 military factories and 17 civilians, so I've got no idea what they're doing. They could step in at any time, but apparently, stinky office chair, it's too much. Huh. I think we have a slight issue. So I wasn't entirely aware, but it turns out the AI does indeed build forts. Maybe it was a Road 56 thing, maybe it's in the vanilla. But that means in a moment we're going to have 10-10 forts facing 10-10 forts. We're not going to go anywhere, are we? <sighs> oh yeah, no. I fucking played this all night. It's morning, and I'm playing again. Let's continue trying to starve the world of all its manpower. Nationalist Spain, I am aware you've got an invasion to deal with, but why is your border entirely staffed by the Japanese? This is actually the Japanese as well. This isn't like a flag trick. This is actually the Japanese. <laughs> what the? Who's in Japan then? Who's fighting in Asia? The Japanese have just fucked off. Okay then. I'm perfectly okay with this. Let's uh, keep upgrading the forts though. Ignore the nukes. Holy shit, say it ain't so, they've actually taken Leningrad. So, the Polish-Soviet War, so the Latvian-Soviet War. 9.51 million losses on the Soviet sides, with, with a thousand from Mongolia. They helped. Uh, they're left, however, with 20 million more manpower. Alright, I've decided to me kick this war up a notch. It's been sitting still for far too- Oh my god, that barrel is incredibly long. Sorry, I'm just going to admire this thick, long tank barrel for quite a while. Let's try and get to Brussels. Alright, this is beautiful. Use of the mega divisions we're pushing in. All I want to do is I want to capture Belgium and then just give it back to see if that will finally get them to fucking attack. Oh, I've just realized I made a pocket and my men have gone around the pocket. That's no good. It's alright. For now, we'll just wait, grab up our lads, go for the capital. Well, excellent. Belgium has fallen. It's capitulated, and now we fall back to our own lines, because fuck really fighting, you know? It's what the- it's the phony war all over again. We march a few miles into Germany, and then we go, you know what? It's not that nice here, there's too many sausages. Normally that's not a problem for a French person, but when it comes to war, they simply won't have it. Oh, we are actually being attacked as well. Maybe my plan worked? I'm not entirely sure if it did, but we're being attacked and that seems like success. Well, since I've taken to drawing vaguely penis-shaped groups of forts into the map, I think what I'm going to do is let the game run, and if I if it runs for an, long enough, I'll say that I've built an impenetrable fortress. Literally no AI can crack this, apparently, despite the entire world being arrayed against me. They've tried. I even own this little nubbin of Switzerland because it's kind of hilarious. I hoped they'd try and surround me and attack that even, but no, that too holds. And the fact that the AI is building forts just means we're going to be locked here forever. So, there's one more thing I want to try, and then I think we'll, uh rid ourselves of the Frenchmanship, of the shame of the past, and push out into the new world. I'm just gonna leave the game be for a bit and hope I don't die. Um, uh... Guess I'll go eat dinner. So fun fact lads, my game is now running- oh, oh, it's sorta of recovered a little bit, I gave it some rest. There we go, it slowed down again. It is running at insanely low speeds because of the amount of uh, troops that everyone's been able to build up. Because I've built up such a border and such a line, and let these uh, nations expand. Hearts of Iron actually relies on you eliminating nations before everyone can have an army, so that that way uh, you don't end up with too many divisions. I think I've sort of broken that ideal. I figure, since I literally have been, it's probably been half an hour, I've been, I went 70 days in total, I think? Yeah. I think it's time we finally broke our vows and we went on the warpath simply to exterminate. And then we can maybe let the Soviets have a bit of a bash at us. We're actually at war with them. I declared war, like, I don't know, probably... I, I would say about three years back, but it was probably only a month. Rod uh, wh why, Himalayan Empire? Uh, let's just have a quick look at the Soviet... Uh, not the French-Soviet War. We want the Soviet... Latvian War. Sweet Mary... <laughs> Joseph... Ah, good Christ, that's 16 million men lost to the Latvians. Alrighty, let us begin our assault. Okay, some success in Belgium. 
Uh, we're actually not attacking along most of the front because there's, I'm assuming... Oh, it's not level 10, it's level 3. Well, come on, we can take a level... Yeah, we can. What, what the bloody hell? Go aggressive. There we go. Now we're getting some attacks in. Beautiful. The Swiss will collapse like there's no tomorrow because they're out of manpower. They have been for quite a while. We're actually destroying divisions already. Okay, falling back. Look, Belgium's going to fall once more. This is glorious. Just finally advancing. Hang on, let's have a quick peek. Right, before we go to war, 277 versus 4.3 million. Over all that time, all those naval invasions, we uh, ended up with 4.3 million deaths on their side. And they never, ever broke my lines. I always, like, snuck out and raided their lines for no real bloody reason. Good stuff. Okay, let's keep my tanks aggressive as well. We want to keep them rolling. The southern lines are actually, they would have a serious fight on their hands. I, they might win, however. Let's just give them a, give them a chance. We've obviously got to turn them with great. Oh, no, okay. Hold back, hold back, lads. Okay, no, you're not going to win that. I'm just going to order them to uh, pull back, because otherwise they will waste all of their troops trying to push through, and then they'll get counter-pushed. Actually, that's probably not that, uh, we'll lose some troops. Yeah, we'll lose some soldiers. Some valuable men, even though we have two million more. And we're still only on extensive, so we're fine. Okay, the march is going well. Oh my god, Germany's line collapsed immediately. This is beautiful. I'm wondering, how, does Germany have a lot of manpower left? How much are we, uh... That's got 700,000, but I think we'll mulch through them in no time, really. Why has it got so little compared to before? The majority of the world is the Allies at this point. We've got uh, all the Allies here. We've got well, the Chinese United Front took hold in Romania because they're having a civil war with the Kingdom of Romania. Poor old Michael. Mr. fucking <laughs> Monocle came along. And uh, if we have a look around here, we've got the Comintern, who actually expanded out and took over the Turkish Socialist Republic. Yeah, and a few other places. They made them communist. Fair enough. Hey, look at him. He's a fair one. Um, the Pact of Rome, of course, down here. Oh, of course, there's a place I'm forgetting. There's, there's some people who I might actually ally with. I mean, I've already broken my oath not to, uh, wow, why is there no divisions guarding here? Let's just keep attacking, I guess. Um, I already broke my oath. I suppose I can only break it further. Let's, uh, let's go join a faction. It's, it's not just any faction, of course. You know, we've got the allies for democracy. We even have the Chinese United Front for democracy as well. Are they still a democracy? Who's in charge of them these days? Remember, who leads this damn thing? Is the leader of the Chinese United Front is Ireland? Of fucking course it is. Why is... Never mind. Yeah, fine. Moving on. We've got the Comintern if you're communist. There's the Pact of Rome if you're fascist. And then there's the Latin Union. If you're not aligned. Perfect. Look at these lads. I'm not going to try to say your name, Mr. Gaspar. Uh, but these two, Mexico and the Federa uh, Federative Republic of Brazil, have combined together into a non-aligned union. And, oh, let's just watch Mexico either get steamrolled or steamroll uh, America. Hang on, let's call them in. Let's just call them in on everything, because I really want to see these guys get fucked over. It's going to be funny. Jeez, uh, I need more things to build. Just build me more mechanized, damn it. It's what we require. It's what the plants crave. Yes, finally, the Confederation Helvetica falls, and wow, my allies actually decide that I'm serious about this whole war thing. This is a great victory for France Kingdom. Now, uh, Me Mexico, Mexico, mate, how do you feel? Uh, you got you got a battle plan? Very good. All right, you're halfway. The Portugal's in our union. Sure, the non-aligned shall rise. Are we, uh, you gonna, uh, you know, there's just, uh, wide open, uh, America can, uh, distract and, uh, you wanna, uh, march on, okay, then. You wanna, nope. Alrighty. Can't help but notice that you've got a random fucking fallback line that looks surprisingly like my Mad Max one, but, uh, you're not actually going anywhere. Seems like this alliance was a bit of a sham. You might even call it a phony war. Hmm. Yeah, wouldn't I know about that? You fucking pricks. Oh, I've just realized Germany's never done the political part of their tree. So they could literally do it. They could get rid of Hitler. Hmm. I do quite enjoy that even the third, sorry, the second de uh, democratic reign still has the Waffen SS for some reason. But there we go. Our determined attack by foreign legionaries supported by artillery. We, uh, the Reich. Guys, guys, I, I feel like this democracy thing was a bit of a sham by Germany if the Reich 
uh, the Reichstag is still around and so on and so forth. Well, to wrap it all up, I think it's time we bring up a new adage. Remember, it's not attacking if there's no one left to attack. I remember when you were my friend. No more, I'm afraid. No more. Once again, this invasion is happening in the space of about three hours. We're very advanced three territories deep. Of course, you wouldn't know that because my game is chugging like a motherfucker. Nationalist Spain is gone. Wow, they had 20,000 weapons just lying around. And that is where we shall call it. The French Kingdom truly has risen. Primarily by doing nothing and waiting for the rest of the world to murder each other. And yes, I entirely realise that the Soviet Union still stands. I say stands, it's approximately, let's just see, 20 million people shorter. How in the fuck Poland is still alive, I'll never know. Why Germany declared war on literally every single country possible, I'll never know. So, until next time, I've been Rumi. And that was the Megano line. <sighs> Kinda sad it didn't work how I hoped, but ah oh well. We ended up getting a good old game out of it, and we got to just watch Germany be an absolute twat for a good hour. Farewell. <laughs>